Hello team. So today we will first set up Java and then IntelliJ so that we could run our program. So let's open Google Chrome. Here we can search for Java. So we will go to the second link that says Java downloads. Uh, it, it will download a JDK uh, that is basically a virtual machine that will help us to run our java programs so you can download the windows version uh, like this installer is good we can install from here let it download and now we will also search for intellij uh, this will be our id where we will write our programs so let's go ahead and download this one Now we can select the windows one since we have a windows device uh, let's go for the community edition because it's uh, free and it has all the support for running java program there are other ids but i personally prefer intellij because it has good syntax highlightings and error correction So this is a large, large file because uh, IntelliJ IDs provide a lot of support to your programming environment. So when these two programs are installed, you can uh, like install them. I already have Java installed and also IntelliJ. So I'll jump on straight to the uh, setup section. Uh, when you install the Java, you just go to your command prompt and just type Java slash hyphen version. It will show the Java version. Currently, I have JDK or Java 11.0.12. I think when we download it now, it will have a latest version. Now open IntelliJ. You can select here new project. You can select whatever Java version shows here. We don't want any archive. Okay. Yeah. So here we can select the new project. Uh, this one we don't need it now. When we go to some advanced concepts, then we will uh, use Maven archetype. Right now we can just use this one new project and now let me change this thing so we will use java language intellij and this one uh, okay yeah all things look good So here you can see this is the project panel here it will show all classes and your libraries that we use in our Java project and this is the coding area it has already created main class along with some prompts and below in IntelliJ you can see there is a terminal we can execute Java projects and build by running any command from here here when we run our programs if there is any error it will show here and this is this button is for version control we are not using it right now when we use uh, github uh, we will need this thing and there are other things in intellij that we will learn as we progress in the course you can also uh, create a new project from here or you can open projects from existing folders if you need and we have bunch of options to set project structure like what libraries what modules we need 
for right now we don't need any external libraries we will just run our first program so here you can see it is all it has already written some program let me explain you this thing so this is your main class and every java class should have a main method uh, then only it will be able to run your program so let's go ahead and write our main method so this public keyword is for the access specifier it me it says that your method is available to different classes this is another keyword public static void is just a return type and main is the name of the method and we will give some arguments here basically we will give string arguments now inside this main method we can write any line of code that will be executed when we run this class so let me just write a simple print statement in java we write a print statement using system dot out dot print lm now we can write hello world so this small script is a pretty basic hello world program let's go ahead and run this for running you can use these buttons or you can just right click here and run main first it will build and then it will execute so here you can see it has printed hello world and you can change this message you have anything that will show here it will show the different message thank you guys